of a Stevenson Middle School student is suing the Department of Education, claiming school officials wrongly suspended her son and then refused to fix the mistake. Our Annalisa Burgo says the case centers on a toy gun. The lawsuit filed Monday stems from a Nerf toy called a gel fire blaster like this. It shoots seven to eight millimeter water-based gel polymer balls that burst when they hit a target, similar to a paintball gun. The DOE considers them firearms and bans them from campuses. Heather McVeigh says her son's eighth grade classmate at Stevenson Middle School gave him and other friends gel guns as wrapped gifts last December. She says although her son did not open or use the toy gun on campus, school officials suspended him and eight other students for one year for having the toys on campus. In a letter to parents in January, Stevenson's principal said one of the students discharged a loaded gel gun on campus after school, striking another student. McVeigh says her son was not involved and appealed to overturn his suspension. There was basically no process. They didn't care how long it would take. The school officials acted hysterically. Hysterically in the sense that they panicked. They know that existing law requires that there be some degree of due process before a kid is kicked out of school. That never happened here. After multiple appeals to the DOE, administrators shortened McVeigh's son's suspension to 18 days, but he had fallen behind in his classes and his mental health had declined. The lawsuit alleges negligent and intentional infliction of emotional distress. He really felt targeted after that, and it was kind of ruined the end of his eighth grade year, which is supposed to be, you know, your top banana, enjoying time with your friends, and here he was having this anxiety and and just sick stomach every day from that. Despite state law requiring alternative forms of instruction for suspended students, McVeigh says her requests for academic support were rejected and led to retaliation. To say that my child had a firearm at school, that, that record has to be corrected and I will not stand for him to carry that on in the future. Give this kid some tutoring, give him some help, reinstate him in some honorable manner and they refused to do it. It's not our problem, they said. These so-called educators admitted that there were mistakes made, but they're not going to step forward to rectify those mistakes. DOE would not comment on pending litigation. A spokesperson cited state law that defines a gel gun as a firearm, as it is designed to expel a projectile, and confirmed firearms are prohibited on school campuses. Violations are subject to serious discipline. How that student discipline is carried out is what McVeigh wants to change. She wants school officials to face disciplinary action of their own and is seeking monetary damages. A hearing date has not yet been scheduled. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.